for the you know the group that we have too. Alrighty, awesome. We should be live here. Right, so, so funny thing, funny live. thing, Steve. Me and Robert were actually just talking earlier about an intro and an outro thing. He has a drum set. I play guitar. Mm-hmm. We were actually just Alrighty. talking about that. <laughs> hey, I was talking to Caleb, and he was saying like we should do every podcast like it's a, like first people listen to every time. Like we should introduce ourselves and shit. That's yeah, you know idea. what? I, I've seen a seen a lot of people do that. Like though, every podcast they'll do the same same thing. Like introduce themselves, and then you know what I mean, and then they'll they'll go on from there. I mean, I feel like I have a pretty distinct voice, right? So if you don't know that it's me talking, we got an issue. Mm. That's right. <laughs> All right, let me see. I'm gonna try to. There we go. All right, I just shared it over to the group right now. <laughs> hey, I was talking to. All right, so Robert, have you heard, ever heard of Skinwalkers? Yeah. Okay, and I know Logan, you have obviously, and Brian, you have. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I don't know, man, because I've I've been watching some videos on them, and like, <laughs> there was one where this guy was like, he was just walking down. Well, he was on a horse. He was going down a trail, and then there was like a girl in the background that was like, "Hey," and then the horse got like, you know, the horse got scared. And it looked in that direction, and she and it screamed again, "Hey!" And that freaking horse took off, <laughs> like did, did not want no part of it. And I was like, right there, if an animal is doing that, that's telling you right there, do not go go out there, right. I would love to see a skinwalker though, Linda. Like I don't even know what they are. Like I don't know if they're just freaking some type of zombie character, or I don't know. It has something to do with Native American. It's um, it's actually a, a a Navajo Native American sort of thing. It's a type of like harmful witch that can disguise themselves as an animal. Like, I guess, gotcha. Similar okay. to like a shapeshifter. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen another video where there was like a, it was a, it was an animal, and it was like that the, the back half of it was a horse. <laughs> But the head of it was a dog, like a dog's face. Mm. That sounds and a little demonic, right there. Yeah, and that's right? what she was. She was like, "Now I don't." She was like, "That could be a skinwalker." I don't know. And I was like, "Well, I would not pet it. That's for sure. I would run. <laughs> like, don't uh, stand yeah. there. Don't Sit stand there, rub there and rub it, say ears. <laughs> <laughs> you want your belly rubbed? Get the freak out of there. You like that tummy rub? <laughs> I mean, the most common animal that they like, I guess, represent themselves as is a coyote. Yes. I have heard that. Let me say that crap. There's tons of coyotes over here. I just seen one this morning. Yeah. Oh, right? I see dead ones along the freeway all the time. Yeah, coyotes I don't know. Uh, yeah, oh, they can be for sure. So I am one coyote away from the Salem witch trials. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a bad idea giving you a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Popping off at everything and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'll just see a coyote. Boom. You're a witch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, but I wanna I wanna go to Gorfinage again here soon. Yeah, it's just been to way see. too long. Yeah. Just to see like <laughs> if there's anything different there or not. I've only been there once. I've and, been there um, a lot of times. I didn't really experience anything ghost wise. But it did get chased by wild dogs. I think that's scarier. That, that's definitely scarier. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would not want to get chased by wild dogs. Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't like any dog that I don't know. I don't like it. Robert, would you want to get chased by wild dogs? I don't, I don't want to get chased in general. <laughs> exactly. Robert said, I sweat enough. I'm not really trying to run. <laughs> right. I'm yeah, sweating bullets sweat. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Robert is sweating thinking about it. He's just thinking about running oh. from a dog. I just set this whole <laughs> thing up and I just started sweating already. <laughs> yeah, that perspiration is real. Dude, he's, <laughs> he's, got a D, he's got a dehumidifier in that, that freaking room. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he got six dehumidifiers. <laughs> With all this body hair, it's like a rainforest. <laughs> Start calling you ocean spray. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> speed stick. <laughs> good, old, good old speed stick. 
Oh my god. <laughs> well, for those of you tuning in, we're, we are now talking about body sweat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a paid promotion by Speed Stick. That's right. That's, that's right. what we can do. It's everything that Robert has to use for his freaking sweaty body. We can uh, <laughs> we can promote that on the show. <laughs> Good way to get paid. Save the rainforest. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a picture of Robert. <laughs> With uh, the shirt on a more serious note, um, those of you tuning in, we we want to hear your stories. Paranormal, aliens, Bigfoot, what have you. We want to hear it. This isn't a place where you're going to be judged or made fun of. We're interested, and we'd really like to hear from you guys. I might, I might make a comment or two, but, you know, it's all fun and games. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the only person getting judged here is Robert. It's That's true. right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I haven't gone ghost hunting in so freaking long. No, neither have I. It's about time, I think. Definitely need to. You still got all the, the cameras and stuff, Robert? Yeah, if I do, they probably don't work no more. Yeah, so we're going to have to invest in some more of them. Yeah, you'll probably have to count me out on that one. It's usually the fat white guy that dies second. Well, that's that's why we were going to bring you. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> dies second. <laughs> I don't, who's going to die first? <clears throat> We could bring Brenton. He could die first. Okay. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> That's the guy you guys were talking about yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the Megalodon hunter. That's the Megalodon hunter. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I, I got a serious question right now. Hmm. So I got two pages of the Beard Bros podcast. Which one is it? You can go on both. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I made one yesterday like a page and then Robert had to make one today because that's the only way he can like go live on that page. Okay. And hopefully the video stays on there. Hopefully it, right. it's not, is it on both pages? I shared it to the group that we're in. Okay. Cause I know as of right now, there's more people in that group than on this page. So I shared it over right. there. I mean, Damn, according I'll... to this right now, there's only two people watching. I don't know. Right. Yeah, listening so. i guess hmm. not as good as yesterday yeah yesterday we were we're hitting we're it, blowing it up i, I think mean, we so had... far there's 157 views so far yeah there was a, there was quite a few all right so joe asked where are y'all's favorite spot to go ghost hunting man i don't i i really don't have one like cuz I don't know. Every place that we've tried so far, I mean, we've gotten something, but I don't have like a favorite spot. I wanted I, to do uh, St. Joe's before it got tore down, but they went and it, it wouldn't happen. I can tell you where I want to go. I want to go to Helltown, Ohio, and go in all of them buildings. Yeah. Now, is all them buildings still there? Like, I know some were there, but there's, I don't know if. It's not all there, but there's buildings there. And it's actually right in the middle of the woods because there's no roads there. Everything's overgrown. There's like literally an abandoned city in the middle of the woods, like an abandoned town. We just right. got to be careful because that that's serious trespassing down there because it's part of Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Right. Yep. So we get busted down there. We're in some serious trouble. <laughs> yeah, we don't 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 need that. What about right. the but cities? I mean, what... what about the cities around Chernobyl? And you know what, Robert? I've talked to you about it before. I want to go. Too I would, and I'll tell you again. I don't want to. <laughs> if I have I a respirator, I'd do that. Right. That's that's the biggest thing. And plus, there's a war going on right now, so I don't know if we should even go over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a good idea right now. <laughs> no, not at all. No, I want to – I don't know. I wanted to – like I said, I wanted to do St. Joe's before it got tore down in Lorraine there. And then uh, I wanted to do the Palace because I've heard, like, tons of stories about the Palace. But I'm not paying eight hundred dollars for a couple hours. Nah, that's a little ridiculous. Right. So I mean, there's no way. Ah, uh, screw that. Hey, for eight hundred dollars, they better supply us with like the top top grade equipment. Yeah, they don't. You know. That's the that's the bad thing. Like they don't supply you with nothing. They just let you in, and then 
that's it. Like you do your thing, no matter if it's for an hour, two hours, however long it's going to take you. And then you leave and that's it. I mean, yeah. but you got to pay him $800 just to do it. I'm like, that's like, like I told Logan earlier, like we're not freaking doing this to make money. So we're not making money doing it. So how am I going to pay you $800 to do it? Right. But I know a lot of, I know a lot of people that do investigate, man. They just, uh, you know, they just chip in. Everybody just chips in whoever's doing it every time they get paid or whatever. And then they use that money to, to do places like that. But I'm not doing that. There's no way. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a place I've always wanted to, to go and look at. It's kind of, it, it's a haunted place, but it's all the way on the other side of the planet. Um, oh, is it Mars? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hunyadora Castle in Romania. Jesus. You know, I want to go to that's Dracula's just not a good castle. combination. I don't know if that's what you're talking about or not, but I really want to go to Dracula's castle. Well, it, Hunyadora wasn't actually Dracula's castle. He was just in prison there for a while, but that's one. Dracula's castle, the only thing left of it is a tower. Hmm. We can go in that tower. Right? <laughs> All right, so Joe asked Wild. again if he uh, if we prefer to go ghost hunting at during the day or at night, or which oh, seems night more for sure. nighttime. Which which is more active? I mean, uh, per, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, the activity, it, whether it's it, night or day, is going to be the same. It's just if you want to get right. that real like paranormal effect, night seems yep. to be more of a a go to. That's why I like doing it at night, just because I like having that uh, yeah, like that. I don't know that weird. I don't. I don't yeah. know. I, I kind of disagree. I feel like shit's more active, like at night, especially. Like I know this might sound cliche or like I'm copying something, but around three o'clock, that's like the witching hour. I feel like shit's more active then. Right. Well, well I mean, it depends yeah, on what kind of spirit you're dealing with as well. Right. Like I ain't trying to mess with a demon. I am. That's the problem. See, that's <laughs> that's the problem right there. <laughs> I could not. I see. I don't want to. I, I wouldn't mind if I was not worried about it attaching itself to me but and see then... you, walking in though you're not gonna know you're not gonna know if you're walking in so you're walking into something you're not gonna know and if you find out it's demonic are you gonna leave or you're gonna continue the investigation that's the thing uh, right there uh, oh i can tell you right now i'll run <laughs> like, there's, uh, i'm gonna run see it, it, if I'm walking into an investigation i'm gonna i'm gonna continue that until it's over no matter what it is well, right. the thing is with demons, like they will try to present themselves as something that's more that like will, will attract you, like like for, like, like, kids, child. like the one we like seen, a like small child. Yeah, it'll seem like it'll try to present itself as something you're comfortable around. That way, like if you're comfortable around it, it can attach itself to you. Like to me, if right. you're walking in a haunted house and you see a little kid, I'm just gonna turn around and say no, <laughs> bye. <laughs> well, well, right. see, that's what uh, that's what got me about that house we did, Robert, is that that little kid that we had a picture of. Yeah, and I was thinking like, and then you can tell something didn't want you there, and that's why we was like, no, you know, I mean, we stayed there for a little bit longer, but no, once things started getting weird, I was like, yeah, we're not uh, we're definitely not. Not, doing not this even anymore. that. Like as soon as we walked in, and the that ca one camera that I turned on instantly died. Yep. Yeah, all of our stuff started dying quick. We had to keep charging it. And, like, the, See, our my, flashlights, my like, they weren't, like, illuminating. It was just shining the one beam of light under the wall. Like, it wasn't, like, brightening up the rest of the house. Right. That's, that's a, like, a tell sign of, like, an evil spirit in the house. Yep. Yeah, see, like, my sign, like, my thing is just, like, I'm too hardcore. Like, I don't want to leave, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I mean, I don't think we would have left, but all of our stuff kept dying. So, I mean, there was no point of us even, like, we would, we could have stayed there, sure, but we would have had no evidence of anything because cameras were dying, flashlights, like, phones were dying, our phones were dying, like, everything was dying on us. Yeah, at that point, there's nothing you could do. Right. So, right. that's why we was like, nothing, there's nothing for us to stay here, you know, we can't do anything, so let's just go. Like, on top of that, like, right before we left... Where we were standing it in the kitchen, like there was a stairwell right to like right next to it. And it sounded yeah. like something jumped off the stairwell into the kitchen, like landed hard on the ground. Like you even felt like yep. the vibrations of something just fell on the ground. And that's when we took the picture and we got the picture of that what seems to be like a little kid. Yeah, I'll find that picture and I'll I'll put it on the, the group page and and this page too, Robert, so that way if they haven't seen it, they can see it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, so I can probably go back to it real quick and pull it up, and then I'll post it. Like I'll, I can show it on the stream. Okay, yeah, yeah, do that. I don't even know where we posted it to, though. Um, all of them. <laughs> we 
<laughs> you said you don't know where we posted it to. Yeah, I'm not sure which page it was or group or. It was the uh, it was the original um, uh, what's it called now? That the Carterboys experiment or whatever. It's it's on there. I'm sure oh, if yeah, you just it's... go on there and find right. uh, the photos, it'd be on there. Yeah, he he showed me that picture. It it it, it is it's on your Ghost Hunters page. There it is. I don't know how you do it with putting it on there, but. So I'm just, I'm going to be adding it here real quick. All right. Well. I'm not sure if you can see all that well on the stream. Um, there you go. That's, that's, yep, that's good right that's there. Perfect. So yeah, if you if you can look close enough, you can definitely see it. I mean, yeah. that's it's circled. So I mean, <laughs> like yeah, dude, it was screaming. Yeah, it was it was weird and like, like I said, I, I know some people say like it was, it's a reflection off something, but like there's nothing. Like we didn't have flash or nothing on. No, there's nothing we there have, to reflect. And not even yeah, I mean the, the light that you see on the wall, like to the left, is from a flashlight. So we didn't have like nothing reflecting. It was, yeah, it's just there. I'm gonna pull up another one here. Uh, this one actually kind of freaked me out when I actually, when I actually seen it. Pull it up real quick. Let me get rid of this one. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I just pulled up a different one. The one on the top. Well, I guess to the right, in the into the little circle, that's the one that freaked me out. Where do you get? Where you guys on right now? We're on the the live. So, like, if you go on the group or on Robert's new page, it, uh, it's on there. The live is. But so yeah, I'm if you try to. Yeah, that's like some that, evil Alvin and the Chipmunk shit right there. Right, just the face in the doorway is just kind of what got me. Yeah. Yeah, and that that this is all from that one house. Yeah. And like, there's I got pictures of other faces, like from that house, but just that one alone, I was like, yeah, that's that's a bit much. Right. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay on, so I'm, I'm going to be right back. I have to run the house real quick, but you guys keep going. I'll get right back on. All right, that's fine. Alrighty. All right, so I got a pretty stupid question. I got a pretty hmm. stupid answer. I hope so. I hope <laughs> it's the, the correct one. Though. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck to find these pictures at. All right, so do you have the Carter Boys Experiment page up? Yes. Just yeah. go, scroll over to photos and then just start scrolling down. You should see them all. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Do it this way. Uh, Can't really see it all that well in this one, but... Save this one, and I'll post this one, too. God dang it. Accidentally trying to pull up Minecraft for a minute. <laughs> I've never played that in my life. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I I don't know if it's good or not, because I've just never played it. All right, so I just put up a different one. And the one... If you look, you can see, like, an old man's face or an old woman's face. I can't... I can't, I can't tell, but, you know, maybe someone, someone watching can tell. Like I, I can definitely see the eye and like the uh, where the nose is and like how that little line comes down for your cheekbone. Kind of see the lips. How do I how do I get to your live shit that you're posting? I don't uh, really go. see anything in the window, but I did see something in the other circle. Well, I mean, if you if you look like the one that. That's up right now. If you look at it, yeah. like closer to like the wood wood paneling on the side of the window, 
that's where you can mm-hmm. see more defined like details of oh, the face. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it now. How do I get to where you guys are at? Uh, just go, go on, go on that group, Logan. You know, you know the uh, <clears throat> the group that I made you an admin of uh, admin of yesterday. The Bader Bros podcast. Yeah, yeah, just go yeah. on there. It should be on there. I just I just shared it not too long, like when we first started it, so it should be on there. And you can just click on the live if you want to, or I can't click on it because, like I said, it's on my phone, and then it, I'll hear the the echoes of everybody still talking. I got it up and running right now, but I just I muted the live. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I I'm watching it. I just muted the live. I can't like, yeah. but if I click on it to like see the comments and all that, I can't it it, it I can't mute it for some reason. Oh, so I don't know. Wait, wait. Uh, I'm, can't I'm also what? running it on my computer, so. Like, if I if I take the live and I make it, like, full screen or whatever where I can see the comments, I mm-hmm. can't mm-hmm. mute it. I can't mute it. Maybe it's different for the phones. Yeah. You can't just turn the volume down on your phone, like the media volume? I probably can, but then I can't hear you guys. Yeah, makes sense. Well, that would be the call volume, though, not the media. Yeah, but it's all kind of connected when I go on here for some reason. Right. Hmm. Yeah, let me see if I... Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing for me to mute it, so... All right. I just can't see the comments. That's it. I can see the live. I just can't see the comments. Hmm. Because I'm reading the comments through, like, the the live on the Facebook. Right. So, yeah, I ain't got to worry about it. Right. I mean, the, the most recent one here is from Joe King. Says, yep, I see it. So he's probably talking about one of the ghosts. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of wish we had all the pictures we've taken like before. I don't have them anymore, but we've taken a, we've done a couple that we've taken pictures of. Right. Um. I don't know if that, uh, Robert, if you could look on that page and see if that, uh. When we did the opera house, remember when we took the picture of that window? Oh yeah, I know um, exactly. About the, I was actually just about to pull that up. Yeah, and then you're gonna, you're, you'll probably have to zoom in on it, but yeah. that's the one that I remember him showing me. It's the opera house with the, yeah, I don't the know little if, uh, kid in the window. I don't know if Logan's ever seen it or not. He might have, but I think I have seen that one. Yeah, would have. I wish I still had the picture of it. Um. My my uncle lives in Ohio City in like a two hundred year old house, you know. Mm-hmm. And I mean, his house is sold. It still has fixtures in the attic for gaslighting. Jesus. Oh yeah, and I actually snapped a picture in the attic of his house, and you could see a, a head and a set of shoulders. And I was asking my uncle about it. He said, "Yeah, you know, he he calls the ghost Charlie, but that." You know, Charlie lives there, too. Mm-hmm. Now, the ghost there doesn't really bother anything or, or you know, cause a ruckus. It just kind of appears every once in a while and then goes about doing whatever it does in its afterlife. <laughs> All right, so there, I pulled up the picture. And yeah. You, you can definitely see a little girl's freaking head in that photo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Can you zoom in on it anymore, Robert, or is that about as good as it gets? Uh, I could probably do a little bit more. It's just going to take me a little bit of time. All right. Yeah, and like anybody that wants to post pictures, like I was telling you yesterday, Brian, if you ever want to post pictures, anything on Mm -hmm. the page, go ahead. I mean, obviously, as long as it's something about what we talk about or whatever, then yeah, go ahead. Right, absolutely. Like I, I've been meaning to get them, uh, them pictures of the big footprints up there. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay. I gotta go. I actually have to go digging through my email because I emailed them to myself so I wouldn't lose them. Gotcha. I actually do that a lot. All right. So yeah. I, I zoomed it in as much as I can. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's that's better. You can definitely see it though. Yeah, you can see it. I want to know what the people watching or listening think about it. Can't let Joe be the only one, you know, talking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, feel free, guys. Any anything you want to say, you know, there, there's no judgment here, except for if it's talking about me, that I'm going to judge you. A- except right. for Robert and his That's ocean right. pets. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
but yeah, like when we were doing the opera house, like we didn't, the opera house itself, we didn't even really get all that much, if anything. And we right. just took the random picture of the, of the building ne next to it. And we actually got that thing. Where is that at? Um, it is on, <laughs> uh, man, I'm trying to think of like the, what the street's called. So I think it's on main street right there in Vermilion. Vermilion. Yeah. You know where yeah, that park you... is right there? Right where that square is? Yeah. It's that building right across. Like, if you look directly across uh, oh, the street, oh. that big brick yeah, building. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. That's the one that we were in, and the one to the right of that one is the one we took a picture of. Yep. Yeah, it's like an auction house, that one that we took a picture of. Gotcha. Yeah, it was, it was quite something. Yeah, I don't think we have any more, like, good pictures anyways of of that stuff that's what that's why we need to go like sometime soon right just to get some pictures and and put them be able to put them on here mm. yep if we could ever all get the time to go and me and robert pretty much live at work but um right if we head down south like toward vinton county or adams county um caldwell county there's a lot of like old abandoned like mining towns down there. Mm -hmm. We could probably we could probably get some some good material there too for for ghost hunting. Not to mention Adams County is another that's another one that's big for Bigfoot, and we all know that Logan's like chomping at the bit here. That's right. I really am. I do want to go to that <coughs> park. That park uh, that he's he that Bigfoot spotted at a lot. Oh, um, Salt Fork? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to go there. I know when I worked in that area, it was like probably a – it was like a three-hour drive, but – Yeah. I mean, it's not not bad. I don't know if that's like a a park that you can go like camping in. It or is. Not. Okay. So, I mean, even if it's like a weekend thing where we – I know when I worked in that go area, camping it was and, like and probably you – know, Just uh, for the weekend and then like three do stuff like right. that. Yeah. Um, I actually used to hunt down there with my dad. I don't know if Salt Fork still has a hunting area or not, because I haven't hunted there in, you know, we're talking 10 plus years, mm -hmm. but I actually used to go deer hunting with my dad down there. Hmm. So I'm looking at this uh, picture, right? I'm on, on like the live shit, and I noticed that you two have big beards, and I only have a fucking goatee, Luke. <laughs> 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 that's all right logan you have a beard though that's all that I'm, I'm like it, the i'm like the junior beard <laughs> i'm like i'm like somewhere in between it's a it's a good thing the logo was made before steve decided to have me on that's right okay i mean I, like, I could put you on there don't worry about that I, i'm like i'm like somewhere in between the the not somewhere between the robert and the logan <laughs> Robert, okay. Well, Robert, I don't think Robert has a beard right now. I don't. No, he doesn't have a beard. He's got that, that Sergeant Slaughter Navy mustache right now. Oh, God. Hey, it's not yeah, that big. Uh, big and bushy. <laughs> he grew the caterpillar back. <laughs> grew them, got, got the Hanna bar going on. <laughs> Need to do that French tip to the ends. <laughs> just twist it around. <laughs> he just... He just takes sweat off his body and, and lotions it up. <laughs> it just moisturizes, rubs that in. Hey, it, it's it smooth. His, <laughs> it's... It makes his own beard oil. <laughs> <laughs> not, today. <clears throat> not today, Satan. Not today. That's right. I mean, speaking of Satan, look at if you actually look at Logan's picture on that, he kind of looks like Jesus. I ain't gonna lie. I know. Well, you know yeah. what? I am Jesus. Fair enough. The other day, I had a conversation with Satan. Oh, and he agreed. I am Jesus. I it's, like, it's it's Steve, Robert, and Jesus. It's Jesus <laughs> spelled with a G. <laughs> <laughs> I seen I seen a Robin post a comment and said, "Is that supposed to be Logan?" Well, you know what? That is me. That's an actual picture of me. So right. that is current. It is supposed to be me. <laughs> There's nothing supposed to about it. Same skin tone I mean, and everything. That's an actual picture. It's just cartoon. That's right. 
it's an old picture, but it's a picture. Yeah, yeah whatever works. Ugh. No, but I do want to go down there though today. At that park, and I don't even care if if it's like a, a camping trip type deal. Hey, that ain't a bad idea. I like to camp. I'll tell you what, if we do go down there, I'm going to vlog that shit if we do go oh, like, out in the woods or something. However, don't expect me to go down there unarmed. <laughs> oh, that's that's big, Bigfoot is not the only thing to worry about down there. <laughs> well, you know what? Monday is the 13th, so I'm going to be armed all the time. Mm. Yeah, I've seen some bobcats down there. Oh, yeah. In that area. The um, It's kind of funny, too. Because the Ohio Department of Wildlife, they they did like a we may or may not have sort of scenario, mm-hmm. and they actually introduced mountain lions back into Ohio. Yeah, I don't want to walk into one of them, that's for sure. Right? They they introduced a few wolves back into Ohio. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. Right. So, uh, sometimes sometimes we'll get sometimes they'll get bears down there. You know, coming in from Pennsylvania or West Virginia or whatever, because, you know, animals don't know state borders, you know? Right. What kind of bears? Just black bears. I mean, you're not going to get a freaking grizzly in Ohio. I want to see a black bear. I don't want to see it up close, but I want to see it. Yeah. He said no. <laughs> He said, no, no, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's saying no? You. Oh, I said no? you like seven or eight times, maybe more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. You know what else is crazy? Now that I'm looking at this picture, I feel like Robert's cartoon, but like the rest of it is not. Wait, I just I just sent Steve a cartoon of my face. You guys gonna make me re-edit this freaking thing, aren't you? Uh, yeah, about one more time. <laughs> hey, you already got three of them already down. You just gotta put one more on it. Right. <laughs> See, I'm I, I'm like right there between Robert and Logan. <laughs> I got that Amish look going on. That's offensive. I am Amish. Well, start playing the Amish Paradise song. We lo- we love your butter. Nobody churns butter like me. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> So, now what? Uh, Logan, then do we stay in Weisse Amisha? Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't speak that language. <laughs> Whatever hey, you can spoke. You, <laughs> can you guys hear me? <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. German. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Robert, I'm going to send you these pictures that uh, that Brian uh, just sent us, our brother Brian. Um, and then you can, if you want, put them on there. He, uh, he just, th- these are from his house, so I'm going to send them to you real quick. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, ne- I never did ask you, dude. Did Brian ever get his truck running again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. It was so long ago, but he broke down on 57 and I went and helped him. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. That was, wasn't that his work truck? Uh, it was the, the Red Ram. Yeah, that was. Oh, that yeah, that's yeah, that was his old boss. Mm. I'm sending you two of them, but I gotta send them one at a time, Robert. What is it a picture of? A stove. These pictures? No, no, it's it's. (laughs) it's, Wow. Look above, not above the stove, but like to the left of the stove in that little. 
doorway area. That little head? Yep. Okay, so I got some advice. Move the freak out. <laughs> run. Yes, <laughs> run. Put that on there, Robert, so they can they can see. Dude, it's he I remember him showing me these pictures and it is like nuts because they were gone. They we were all at my dad's house and actually they have, I think I might have seen that picture of the stove. I think I know what you're talking about. They have cameras in, and I'm pretty sure they had a camera or something like that in their house that took the pictures. And yeah, yeah that's what they caught. Uh, I just pulled posted it. All right, I'm waiting to see it. Here it comes. It, it, you got to zoom up like Jesus, man. That yeah, is so creepy, dude. That is so creepy. the hell out. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you take I'm that serious. stove and run. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you take Screw the, the stove. stove. <laughs> leave the stove. It's probably tainted. <laughs> you leave everything in the house. You just go. <laughs> I can tell you right now, right? I, would, I, would, I would not be staying in that. Look at this crap. I mean, none of the uh -uh. kids were there. So, no, I, there's no way I would be staying there with that face <laughs> popping out like that. <laughs> Can you imagine just waking up out of a dead sleep and seeing that right in front of your face? Like, yeah, uh, Brian, do not do not invite me down there for coffee in the morning. I can tell you that right now. Uh, <laughs> so no, I, no, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's listening, so do not invite me down there for coffee tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, that is that's, that's so crazy looking. What did she say we caught that on to that security camera while we, we weren't home. Yeah, yeah, they were. I'm pretty sure we were all at my uh, my dad's house that day. And when they got home, that's uh, that's what they caught. That's so weird. That is that is some scary stuff right there. <laughs> that's just shit nightmares are made of right there. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. Bad thing is, <clears throat> that's where uh, Brian and them have to walk to get to their room. They have to walk oh, right Jesus. past that. You know what? That thing came out of their room, so it probably did. <laughs> it yeah, did. It I wouldn't in even. Closet. I wouldn't be sleeping in that room for the rest of my life. Nope. That's, that I think lives that, in their I, closet, and I just block comes out at off. night. I hope they know that that thing stares at them while they're sleeping. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> Brian is not gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I found them, and I sent the footprint pictures to Robert. Okay. That man, that that face, Robert, get that face off of this freaking screen, cause I don't want to see it no more. That is so crazy. Yeah, she's that, kind of cute. That's giving me the willies. God, dude, that's fucking that is... nuts. So, like, it, just look at the mouth open. You can yeah. see that the mouth is open. Like right? that. That feels like just looking at that picture. It feels you, demonic. You are gonna have to zoom out, pal. Oh dang. There it goes. Now well, that's the back of the footprint. Oh, he's okay. There we go. Yeah, you have to zoom like way out, and then I think I see the toes a little bit. Jesus. Uh, yeah. The other one is the front of the track with the toes in it. I haven't saved that, that was... one yet. Look how deep down that is, though. Right. Like, if you look yeah. at the wall of the grass right there, you can see how deep down it is. Yeah, like, you can see the heel and everything. Where was that Where was that taken at? That was down there in Moorhead, where I, the, where I was telling you la uh, last night about. Oh, okay. Outside of his grandpa's trailer? Yeah. Gotcha, okay. That... The main thing I'm seeing is just how deep that is, like how hard, like how heavy you have to be to like right. compress it down yeah. so much. You got to have some weight on you for that. Oh yeah. All right, so both both photos should be up now. Okay. Okay. There's the there's the front of it. Jesus. Right, give me one second. I'll be right back. All right. Mm -hmm. Like I wonder how. As far as length, I wonder how big that is. Well, I mean, I I wear a size fifteen. A size fifteen. It was bigger than my foot. <laughs> Did you just say a size fifteen? <laughs> yes, I wear a size fifteen. <laughs> how tall are you? Like seven four? Six foot two. <laughs> gee, gee, what? <laughs> Jesus! How I'm tall are you, Stevie? Six four. You're taller than him. Yeah, and I wear a size twelve. <laughs> well, he, no, you're the, you're the lowercase L. He's you know, the uppercase L. 
A size 15. My size God. Size 15 wide. Oh, yeah. You got to put the wide in there. <laughs> you got to. Oh, yeah. Are you sure you didn't step there? Uh, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> He's like, check this out. I'm a big boy, but I don't weigh nearly enough to sink it down that far in the mud. <laughs> Jesus. So, now, did you put your foot into that print just to see? No, I put my foot next to it. All right, so how much bigger was that than yours? Or how much bigger uh, was yours than that? I want to <laughs> say that that print was probably three inches longer than mine. And it, it was at least it, at least two inches to three inches wider. That was so probably about like a 17 inches. Yeah, Jesus. 17 or 18 inch long foot. Freaking Shaquille O'Neal over there. About to say, did he come for a visit? And was like, hey, there you go. That ain't even Shaquille O'Neal. That's his fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put that uh that ghost picture back up from Brian. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, because Joe said he wants to see it. but Okay. Uh, You didn't really get to see the face. I want to go for a treat, buddy. Can you circle it, Robert, at all? Like, yeah, I, I just got circle? done. Okay. I just got done editing it. All right. Size Good fifteen. Enough. I still ain't getting over that. Holy crap! <laughs> That's Steve, nuts. Steve, you've seen me in person. <laughs> I know, but I didn't think you were a size fifteen. <laughs> but doesn't Jacob wear a size fifteen? He wears, yeah, he wears a pretty big size. I'm pretty sure he said he had to get his shoes like specially made. Yeah, I got to get my shoes from the big and tall store. I can't just walk into Walmart with <laughs> my pair of shoes. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, All right, so I'll throw it back up there, and I have it circled. There's my buddy right there. There she is. Yeah, good yeah. lord. Ugh. Man, that the, is... The grudge. The yeah, price? it's like staring right into me. You know, the more you look at it, you can almost see like a, like a, a, a rotting face. Like, if you look where the nose would be, there's, like, a hole. And if you look just under the eyes, you can see patches. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. It's like a I rotting mean, freaking zombie face. Oh, Lord. That's a good... That, you know what? Coming from, like, a paranormal investigator standpoint, that's a great picture. It is. That's, that's a... That is, like... A great picture, like a great find. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The, that, that's great evidence right there. Like, that's because, a good fucking picture. Yeah, because look how many places we've been, and we, you know, we've got pictures, but nothing like that. And they just, they leave for a night, and then they come home to this. Right back to what I was saying before. That's by nuts. chance. It's almost like the, the person or whatever that is, is like poking its head around the corner, because that's a doorway right there, like what it's in. It's like a, it's like a closet area or something. But... Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like it's poking its head around, like, seeing, like, okay, is anybody here? And then that's, man, that's nuts. Mm. I can tell you it has a pretty big forehead, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a huge forehead. I went and headbutted it. I, I, there's no way. Robert, now that's not nice, man. You, you're gonna yeah. offend the poor kid. Yeah, Robert's You shouldn't wake be talking that. about pe people with big foreheads now. Robert's gonna wake up to that freaking thing looking at him. <laughs> I can't even imagine actually like waking up out of a dead sleep and seeing that shit. I just go oh, back nah. to sleep. I I I die. I, I would have a heart attack. Ain't burn no back your to house sleep. down, dude. Just yeah. burn your freaking house down. That's man. That's crazy. I'm a, man. Just looking at that picture like that, I think I, that that's where I want to go to freaking investigate. You go investigate your brother's house. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean you, that's you that's the best thing. That I could even think of right now. That's right. what first popped into my head. As soon as I seen that picture. That god dang zombie ghost. Yeah, I mean, we <laughs> might catch something there for sure. That's nuts. It's Vivian. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's it's the Vivian. dog Vivian coming yep. back. That dog, that dog was dead when it was alive. You ain't kidding. Grab your crucifix. <laughs> uh, you ain't lying. All right, Brian, if you're still watching, oh, well, we're coming to your house, buddy. <laughs> That's exactly where I'm taking my spirit box. Taking it straight there. We need Jacob for this one. We got to get the phasmophobia group back together. 
I think I only played that game like a couple times with Robert. I played it with Robert and Brian a few times, and like two other people, I think. It was me, you, Robert, and Jacob. The one time, and it was it was it your phone? It's either your phone or Jacob's phone went off and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't think we're, it was my phone. We're we're in an asylum, and somehow we all got separated. And when when the ghosts start to do a hunt, your your flashlights will flicker. Mm-hmm. My flashlight started flickering, and somebody's phone had fucking Squirtle for a text tone. That was definitely <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> so yep, that was Jacob. <laughs> my flashlight starts flickering, and all I hear is Squirtle, Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how freaking skin? <laughs> that's the story in every scary movie. Somehow we all got separated. Yeah, right. <laughs> so how how does that separated. happen? <laughs> it's like one minute he never... was there, the next he was gone. Yeah. I remember playing that with Robert, man. I, I would always like we would go into like a dark room and I would always turn my flashlight off and try to hide in the corner and see if I would scare him. It never worked. Because you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, what are you well, doing? I guess that didn't work out too well. They made a he lot probably of walked in the door game. and scared you. I know, I like, hey. <laughs> they I remember watching that. that game. Me I remember and, watching uh, that freaking uh. Well, wow, Robert, was this the same game where that video you showed me where the guy was like walking around? Yep. And his friend was in the corner and scared the crap out of him. Yep. Scream like a girl. <laughs> that was hilarious. They have a campsite area now in that game to explore. I haven't oh, been really? on that game in over a year. Complete with exploding light bulbs. I think the last game. Other than like Warzone that I played on PC was that uh that Bigfoot game. Yeah. <laughs> we almost had him. Almost a couple times. <laughs> We're gonna blame Robert for every single time that we did not catch him. Yep. <laughs> it's all Robert's dude. Yeah. Dude, that game is so freaking broken. We cheated. Like we downloaded Wii Mod and cheated. And still couldn't beat Bigfoot. <laughs> That's fucked up. I don't know. Yeah. Not it only sucks. not only did you cheat, but you just said that live. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I hope I hope you son of a guns get banned. <laughs> <laughs> it was a private game. It's not like you were playing with other people. <laughs> <clears throat> I never got into like the whole, you know, cheating on games and stuff like that. I mean, like when I used to play GTA back in like the day. I used to put the cheats in all the time for that, like infinity money and health and right. all that. But and I, I don't know, you can do like mods and stuff now on PC. But no, nah, I just yeah. never uh, Warzone, man. I wish sometimes I could do cheats. That but, That's definitely a game I mean, that will some people, for cheating. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some people cheat on that game. Like, well, they now they have the a. Out of it. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. It used to be real bad, but now they have a thing where um for like hackers. So the hackers can still get into the lobbies, but. They they can't do any damage to anybody. So like I've seen videos where they're shooting someone and it does absolutely no damage to the person. So the person can just run up on them and and kill them or execute them or anything like that because whatever they do to them, it's not doing anything. That's crazy how you could solve a problem like that. <clears throat> yep, they let them in there thinking, oh cool, I can still hack, but it just does nothing. I used to play this one called Combat Arms, and hackers got really bad on that one. Like they had a hack for that game where. You could stand back at your base and swing your knife, and the entire other team would just die from knife stabs. Jesus. Yeah, it it got real bad, like to the point where it's damn near unplayable. And they never did anything about it. That's pretty much how, I mean, even though the hacker thing got situated with Warzone, like that's pretty much how the game is now, though. It's still, like, unplayable. Like, ever since that new map came out, I don't, I do not like that new map at all. Is that the one where you saying that guy like uh, Godzilla and King Kong? Mm-hmm. And I and like I like the fact that they had Godzilla and King Kong on there and stuff like that. But the whole thing it was pointless. Like they never fought. Like I would think, you know, they would they would fight at the end of the game or something like that. No, they never fought. You literally just shoot them the whole game and try to get like points and stuff. But they never. That was it. Like they're yeah, they can blow flames at you or freaking King Kong can throw a rock at you and kill you. But I mean. They never fought. It was none. It was you can't kill them, like it was nothing. I mean, the only thing I ever really play is WoW, 
I don't really play shit else anymore. You play what is, what is wow? Uh, a World of Warcraft. World, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. World of Nerdcraft. <clears throat> I, you know what, man? I tried. Well, I was gonna, I was actually gonna download it, and I know you have to pay like a subscription or something like that. Yeah, for fifteen it. a month. Yeah, yeah. I just never. Uh, they had like a free trial thing, and I just never. I don't know. I just never got it in, into them kind of games, though. Because it, I mean, it kind of like really depends. Like, once you get past a certain level, or if you're in a guild or have friends you can play with, it's different. Right. Yeah, I, I got I got no room to poke fun because I used to play Lord of the Rings and and Star Wars: The Old Republic. I never yes, played I never... those games, but Star no. Wars is the shit. I fucking love Star Wars. You know, what? I've never even got into watching. Like, I, I guess I never sat down and watched the stuff, but I never got into watching that stuff. I Star, Wars Star Wars is amazing. I don't think I'm I've ever watched a Star, Star Wars, Wars movie. Not... I've never, yeah, I've never sat down and watched a Star Wars movie. That's for sure. Hey Brian, have you watched uh, Obi Wan? Yes. Oh my god. I haven't. I haven't seen it because I don't have Disney Plus anymore. Gotcha. Well, it's it's good. It's like Disney I'll... Plus. That's what, yeah, that's what it plays on. Look, dude, I was so fucking hyped for this shit and everything. And then all of a sudden, the Disney Plus account I had, I got a new TV and I couldn't sign in. I was so mad. Oh, what the hell? Nuts. Yeah, I, you know what? I did have Disney Plus before. I mean, for the kids, because they have all that, you know, like the movies they watch. I just never, I don't know. I never, uh, I never got into Star Wars or, or none of that. I don't know. I just. Disney uh, bought out Lucasfilm, so they got like. All the Star Wars shit on Disney Plus. Yeah. And they got a lot of the cartoons that I used to watch when I was a kid on there, like Chippendale Rescue Rangers and fucking Gummy Bears and all kind of cool stuff. Wasn't Chippendale I, I like never, a male I strip club? I never club? watched them cartoons <laughs> ever. What'd you say, Robert? It isn't Chippendale like a male strip club? <laughs> <laughs> Tail you know spin. what? I bought the fucking, I bought the get a job at Chippendale's. I mean, with gas. I'm about the helicopter. I'm about the helicopter, everyone. And Brian, I don't want to hear you say you're going to get a job at a strip club because you twirl around that pole in big shoe boxes <laughs> that you got from feet. <laughs> shoe boxes. I'd be knocking out. out 20 people and shit. <laughs> Getting a job at a strip club would be the best job in the world for me because they'd be paying me to put my clothes back on. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I walk in that bitch naked. Right. I just walk in there walk ass in naked, that bitch like, naked. Put your clothes on. <laughs> What's going on here? Robert just he, Robert can't do it. He sweats so much, he'll slide off the pole. Right? Hey, make <laughs> He walks in blinding people from the lights from his sweat. <laughs> 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 Looks like he's got hit with glitter on his way in. <laughs> Beam everywhere. Look like I that just got off the step for name. Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> that could be his stage name, Slippery When Wet. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. You could just call him Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever gets gets you paid, right? That's right. right. Got to got to pay for gas somehow. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The way the them ones right in his butt crack. <laughs> this shit just falls right out it's so wet. <laughs> Jesus. Their hand is just soaked when it comes out. <laughs> Looks like she's like punched water. Gas prices are anymore. We all might have to start stripping. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. You know what? I already thought about doing that for fun. So. <laughs> <laughs> I got one truck that's got a 21 gallon tank, and I got another truck that's got a 26 gallon tank. <clears throat> I don't know if I told you this or not yet, Brian, but I used to be able to fill my tank with 40 bucks. Now I, I have to fill it with sixty-five bucks. Now, yep, that's a big yeah, jump. That is a big jump. I try filling up my Ram. It cost me a hundred and two dollars the last time <laughs> I filled it up. Jesus. I wouldn't even do it. I would just demolish it. I wouldn't even do it. Like I said yesterday, I'd rather uh, take a mean tweet and two dollars a gallon than what we have now. Absolutely, <clears throat> that's for sure. And you know what? I don't even get offended by it. Give me one second. Tweet. Someone's at my door. All right. Why that ghost? Oh, it's me. I'm there. It's, it's probably that it's demonic yeah. face that you were just talking about. I was going over there to give him that one in his butt crack. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the FBI picking him up, trying to solve the world's water crisis. 
<laughs> Weird you sprung a leak over here. <laughs> <laughs> Robert opened the door sweating, wiping his forehead. <laughs> you here for me? <laughs> you know he has one of them handheld fans he walks around with all day. <laughs> he just got it clipped to his shirt. It's like cool down. <laughs> Hey, I had to hold the ladder for him while he was cleaning the gutters at the shop earlier. That wasn't oh, just God. gutter water falling on me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> he just had a waterfall on his face of sweat. <laughs> <laughs> he had to take a few breaks to get him breathe. He's getting drowned. His <laughs> eyes burning from sweat hitting him. <laughs> oh, God. That's disgusting. <laughs> we, we are terrible. <laughs> Maybe... Robert ain't back yet. Maybe it was the freaking FBI for something. Damn. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> oh. So what are you so nervous for? Why are you wiping your head? <laughs> Robert's, like, <laughs> Robert's like, I just walked from my room to the door. Are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sweating so much? <laughs> what are you nervous about? I just tried to walk from my room to the door without getting uh, caught by my kids. I know. <laughs> Without trying to fall. I'm back. Right? No, you're, oh, there he is. <laughs> we thought you were detained right now. Oh. You're close enough. you nervous about that. <laughs> Just turn Robbie loose on him. It'll be all right. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. No, we were just talking about you, you sweating again, Robert. Oh, okay. Yeah, just walking from your room to the door and... Unfortunately, this is going to be a reoccurring thing on this podcast. You got oh, to. Oh, yeah. Buddy. People are going to tune in thinking, today we're about to hear about his sweat again, and we've got to. Right? We've got to hear it. I mean, <laughs> what? I guess whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever floats your boat, man. Right? <laughs> I mean, if you want to see my, my body of natural springs, then I mean, <laughs> if, if you want... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that fucking guy is going on over there and shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. What can I do about it now? It's right. been done. Robert, do you have a portable fan that you walk around with? No. Clip to your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I just have lots of towels. <laughs> <laughs> towels on deck. I feel a little poached. <laughs> oh I'm a little poached right now. <laughs> <laughs> while he's while he's tapping his forehead with a towel. <laughs> Walk around looking like the Taliban all day. <laughs> Sweating like a whore in church. <laughs> I'm I'm offended of that. I am a whore in church. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Logan's like, Logan, nah, you, you man whore. <laughs> you just cross the goddamn line now. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> Robert's over there just like, listen. <laughs> you you listen. <laughs> now you listen. Oh. We got, I don't care what we talk about got the podcast, but we got to laugh for sure. Oh yeah, life's too short to not laugh. That's right. But if laughing causes it to be even shorter. Well, it probably will for me, that's for sure. Yeah, it does right? for Stevie. He mutes his mic every time <laughs> like, he gets it, in it. a laughing fit. Because <laughs> once I start going, I don't think everybody just wants to hear, like, you guys talking about a ghost and then me just laughing in the background. Because <laughs> that's exactly what it would be. 20 minutes straight. Dude, and you can ask Robert, you can ask Logan. When I get going, well, that's it. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> And then Casper the Friendly Ghost comes and pokes your butthole. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, just thinking wants- about it, you know, when, when Steve does start his laughing and then he mutes his mic, this is all you hear. Who is that? Then it comes Steve back up. Atomized by a ghost again. <laughs> 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 don't number one. Don't worry about it, Robert. <laughs> don't worry about what happens. <laughs> you just made me think of you in a laughing fit. That's just hilarious. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> don't 
<laughs> Don't you worry about what happens when I mute the mic, all right? Next, next time you get into a laughing fit, you just start muting and unmuting your mic at the same time. <laughs> all you hear is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. My goodness. <laughs> ideas, ideas. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bobo, I was trying to do, find do what? What do we need to fix your drum set? The drum set. Well, didn't you say it had like a bad clamp on it or something? Yeah, it's just it, like it just won't tighten down. I'm sure like super glue or hot glue gun or something stupid like that will probably fix it. You think the C clamp would work? Maybe. I don't know. Because I was going to take the cap off the back of the ram. It's got them little C clamps in there. Yeah. Maybe. That way we can do some recording for the intro shit. Right. What are you guys going to play? I don't know. She's on fire. <laughs> yeah. Islands in the stream. <laughs> that is what we <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was listening to this podcast the other day. No <laughs> why I seen the same exact shit. Look, so I was driving down the street today, and I seen this fucking dude wearing basketball shorts, no shirt, and suspenders mowing his fucking grass. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> and he had a fucking pot belly. God, God, and it's dude. like, look, a basketball short. Have it like strings on it so you could tie the shit. Why the fuck was he wearing suspenders? Right. <laughs> With yeah. basketball shorts, mowing his fucking grass. <laughs> well, I mean, this guy at work, Tom, he's got this buddy that comes in on Sundays. It's the guy that bought Robert's Ranger. This guy looks like Sheev from the Dukes of Hazard movie. <laughs> Like he looks like Sheev with the bald head and the the thick frame glasses. Oh, okay, he's, yeah, yeah. He's usually got a pair of basketball shorts on with these black knee socks and a pair of sandals. <laughs> Everybody calls me a Polak. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Jesus walk sandals. <laughs> I was seeing a dude today with Jesus walk sandals and socks on. Oh Jesus. And I'm not talking about, like, high socks. I'm talking about, like, past-the-knee high socks. Oh, Jesus. My goodness. Man, you That's see some one... characters. Like, I don't live in Illyria, but I work in Illyria. You see some characters in Illyria. Oh, absolutely. You should, you should I thought, I've seen, the... oh, I thought I've seen enough crackheads in Lorraine because I'm from Lorraine. I thought I've seen enough crackheads there in Illyria. It's, like, way worse with crackheads, man. We'll agree to disagree. But, however, what I was getting at, you should see some of the shit I've seen in Oberlin. Oberlin's unique. Oberlin I'll, is I'll very unique. Say that. Very unique. Bubba, I'm going to tell him about the purple sundress. Hmm. Yeah. So, I went out there to run a call one time, and I see the, the, this young lady in a purple sundress walking down Don't assume down the genders. And, don't, I, don't, I, don't yes, assume. Sorry, we cannot assume here. I saw this person <laughs> walking down the street in a purple sundress, and I had to take notice. <laughs> well, this person in the purple sundress turned around and smiled, and this person had a beard bigger than Steve's. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. That's unthinkable, all right? <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> You, you see some stuff there in Oberlin. <laughs> hey, we don't we don't talk about genders here, okay? We don't do that. There's not just a male and a female, okay? There's multiple genders, and we need to appreciate. <laughs> we we appreciate everybody that listens, even if they're a little brown ET guy. That's right. What I mean, my fuck thing is, is going on right now. I don't care what you. Say you are, or if you are gay, lesbian, whatever. As long as you ain't affecting me, I don't care. That's just it. That That's it right there. You do you, pal. Yep. As long as you ain't affecting me in any way, then, hey, you do you. That's right. Well, you do you. Do, you know what, do you know what we're called? I'm pretty sure it's called cisgender. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Oh, what? What is it called? Cisgender, Cis which gender. means you um, were born a male... And you recognize yourself as a male, and you are straight. 
So you are known as a cisgender. I'm known as a guy. Yeah. That's what I'm known as. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, that's just a... <laughs> that's just me, I guess. Right? I, I'm, I'm, I'm known as a guy. That, that's what yeah. I'm known as. I, I'm a fucking dude. <laughs> a, I got a dick. I'm a dude. <laughs> I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are so offensive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I identify as a 1972 Dodge Challenger. You can't assume nothing. I'm transmission. <laughs> you know what? You identify as whatever you want. <laughs> Even though biologically you're wrong. Wait, I can't say that. I can't say that. Right. That's offensive. Now who's being offensive? <laughs> <laughs> Only in America. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> Listen to you, brother. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, Brian, do you watch wrestling at all? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. uh, see, I don't, man, I used to watch it back in the, like, I watch it every once in a while, but I used to watch it, like, back in the day, <laughs> so did I. Type, but I don't, man, anymore, it's it's definitely not the same. No, it's it's really not. My I, my wife is big into, she's big into wrestling. I I watch it every now and then with her and just kind of roll my eyes and look the other way, because it just ain't the mm. same. No, I need Brian to cut a 15 second promo. Stone Cold like style. Stone oh, Cold boy. style. No, nah, no, nah, we're going to do this Hulk Hogan style. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah all right, there we go. Here we go. Okay, hold up. I oh, is that? Music oh, hold on. <laughs> the greatest sound effect on earth for this moment. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. What was that? <laughs> hold, that was my phone. Let, that was let me, phone? Let me do you one better. I'm going to see if it'll actually even do it. All right. But it'll be funny if it does. Oh, never mind. Brian's doing it. <laughs> you say you know a thing or two about ghosts, so let me tell you something, brother. The Brian. The, the, the Brian maniacs out there. Oh, one of the ghosts are going to run wild. they will run wild all over you there, brother. <laughs> Listen here, brother. You want to know something about a SmackDown, brother? I'll put a SmackDown all over your candy ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Logan just sound constipated. <laughs> you know what? I had to. I had to get constipated. <laughs> He said, I got So poop. you're welcome. I got a poop, brother. Listen here, brother. I'm about to drop the greatest douche you'll ever see in your life, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Where, what are we doing, number one? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be a, the, the serious paranormal people. In, <laughs> but you know what, man? That's, that's what I told you. You're Logan. never going to get that with me. Yeah, I said, right? I, I do not want to be serious all the time. Like, now here we go. <laughs> you know what? We, we, need, we need Shawn Michaels. That's what we need is Shawn Michaels. <laughs> I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. Jesus, Christ! I'm not your boy, toy. Oh, yeah, Macho Man? <laughs> I'm Macho Man slash Shawn Michaels slash Stevie's Boy Toy. Oh, All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just, we, you, just, you just said that live on air. Uh, you know <laughs> what? Sure did. This shit happens, bro. Oh, my God. Shit happens when you party naked. That's what? what? Every day, brother. <laughs> Jesus. 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 Moves. <laughs> 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 hey, look, we I ain't even gonna lie. 
a big bald man that sweats gallons of ocean water out of his armpits. And if you're not <laughs> down with that, I got two words for you. <laughs> Spade stick. <laughs> Spade stick. <laughs> I got to turn this AC on or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. You hear it going full power. <laughs> uh, he's got a turn. He's got a two turn gener two generators on for it. You got that jet turbo drive. <laughs> got to get them fusion generators cranking. <laughs> I, look, I'll tell you what. Shawn Michaels has the greatest <sighs> intro music of all time. Uh, mm. yeah, man. See, I, I don't know. I mean, have you heard the Ultimate Warriors? I mean, come on. You all right over there, Brian? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's the sign of a stroke. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we just had to make sure. Yeah, we just wanted to, yeah, yeah. Wanted, wanted to find out. I didn't know if he was having a stroke or watching Beavis and Butthead, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be cool. <laughs> what? What was that again? This is going to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on right now? Oh, oh just randomness that is the Bearded Bros podcast. <laughs> it, it is. I mean, if you ever hung out with all of us, Brian, at the same time, this is exactly what you would get. <laughs> Me laughing. <laughs> and, and nonstop laughing at that. He does the whole cut in and out in real life, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Dude, I don't have to mute my mic. I can just freaking do it. That's just natural. That's natural to me. <laughs> is, Robert, is there now? Is there any way for you to put like? Because uh, I know we're talking about like doing the intro and outro stuff. Mm -hmm. Like before you guys do your freaking one man band stuff with the stuff. <laughs> is there any way you can put music on here, like in the beginning and then at the end, or do you have to have like a? I don't because I know how Facebook is with like music being played. Uh, we got to be careful too, because there's copyright stuff, and right. we're only allowed to use you know. So oh, many hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, because I know like on a <laughs> mid podcast. I know, I know like on a anchor, they have like, it, it's not. I can I can link my Spotify to it and use that music for like an intro and stuff, but. Huh. I don't have any music on there to do it. Like I just go on Spotify for the podcast, and that's it. You I know, don't have music. Do you know what we need for intro music? I am Slipknot. a real American. Slipknot's Custer. Dude. No, we need. Yeah. I am a real American. Hulk Hogan's theme song. We put that fucking shit on at the beginning, and then what about the? Okay, so what about the the end? Oh my god, that would be perfect. But I don't know if we can get away with using it. Drag the waters by Pantera. Drag the waters. Pantera is yeah. amazing. First of all, Pantera is my favorite band. I have a Pantera tattoo. Pantera is one of the greatest bands of all time. Oh hell yeah! Mm -hmm. I but, don't know if we'd be able to get away with it though. That's just the right. Thing. That's the whole thing with like the copyright stuff. You, it, it's hard to play music on here because of that. Yeah. And drag the waters is perfect. It fits because it's kind of our thing. We drag the waters and do, you know what right. I mean? Right. Yeah, I mean, we need to figure something out to what what we can use. Do you, Do you know what I call that? Demonetization. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that, and that's that's another thing, man, is if like say we start putting stuff on YouTube and all that, yeah, we we wouldn't be Get able to make any kind of money. real quick. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh yeah. They wouldn't pay us for squat at all. That's why we gotta find something that's like I don't know. Like I gotta look into anchor, like to see if depending on like, cause like I said, I can link my Spotify for music, but so I don't know if they already have like a set list that you can use for that. Right. Or not. Well, that, that's why I'm kind of it. leaning more towards Bobo plays drums, I play guitar, 
I also play bass, so if we could get some kind of recording program. I don't know. I got that cowbell on lock. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bobo could lay down a drum track. I could lay down a guitar track over it and then, you know, lay down a bass track and we could put it all together. Right, Stevie, right. Got, Stevie could do them uh, angelic vocals. That's right. It's like a Get mixture. Them high notes. It's like a mixture of Shakira and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I gotta watch myself. I'm almost fucking yep. up so yep. many fucking times. For all the religious people out there, I'm sorry. I will say a lot of things, and it's just gonna slip out. It's all right. I mean, it's a podcast. So you can't, you know, they can't expect it to be all about, you know. One thing, like that's I'm why I'm gonna say what... some very offensive things about Jesus and God. Well, that's why. That's why I told you to one day, like, I I want to I want to talk about whatever. I don't want to talk about just one because we're not gonna get. We'll get some listeners, obviously, if we just talk about one thing, but we're not gonna get that many. Right. So I want to talk if about we whatever. talk about a broad spectrum of topics that interest a lot of people, we'll get more listeners that way. Yeah, like hookers. Right. Hookers and blow. <laughs> 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 Get some hookers and cocaine. <laughs> I do cocaine. Kick it, yeah. You guys ever <laughs> see that fucking, uh, that interview of that dude on the news talking about hookers and cocaine? No, do um, tell. That shit is fucking epic. They was interviewing him. It was people playing. That's, you guys hear static? Yeah. No, I sure do. I, I don't. I don't hear nothing. That means it's you. Nope. But no, there was this dude on the news, and he was, they was like all playing the lottery, and it was like actual like local news. Uh-huh. And they were like, what are you going to do if you win the lottery? He's like, I'm going to get a lot of strippers and cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, okay, well, back to you. Huh. <laughs> All right, so I think what we need to do, like, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to look into that Spotify, Spotify stuff and see what music I can and can't use, mm-hmm. but, and then we can, uh, we can figure something out, whether it's you guys doing whatever with the guitar and drums and all that, or if it's, we figure something out for music. Right. I mean, yeah, it doesn't I'll have to, to be Spotify anything today when we get off here, so fancy. That way I can uh, figure it out. I, I, I think you guys should actually do something and, like, send it to all of us so we can, like, <laughs> listen to it, though. Right. I agree. I actually used to play in a band, so I I got talent just sitting here doing nothing. So what I'm, kind of band? I'm for it. I used to play in a metal band. Oh, nice. Um, it's called Fascist Insect. Fascist Insect. Fascist Insect. I joined Fascist. the band. I didn't pick the name. I, uh, the name isn't <laughs> all that bad, though. Honestly, I mean, when you think <laughs> of right. metal. <laughs> I mean, you have uh, Dicky Allen, one of the greatest vocalists of all time. His band's name is Infant Annihilator. Oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. So, although I, I would tend to disagree with you, the best vocalist of all time is metal Phil vocalist. Tomo. All right, so now that we said metal vocalist, who is the greatest metal vocalist vocalist of all time? Phil and Salmo. Oh. Look, I love closely. Pantera. I love Phil and Salmo. But I, the greatest of all time, I don't know. Well, it's all subjective too. I mean, everybody's gonna feel it's somebody else's. Like my my two favorite metal vocalists are Phil Anselmo and Randy Blythe from Lamb of God. I, you know what? I can't really disagree with you with Randy, honestly. Des Do you know Fafara, what? That's another good vocalist. Do you know any new metal? Uh, Jonathan Davis. Do you know about Alex Terrible? I haven't heard anything. I've heard of them, but I haven't heard them. Well, his band's name is Slaughter to Prevail. Alex Terrible is the lead singer. Have you heard of, uh, Lorna Shore? Lead singer's name is Will Ramos. Yes. Have you heard of Along Came a Spider? No. Okay. Along Came a Spider? Down the Water Spout? Right. It's actually my buddy Joel. I went to high school with him, and uh, we we had a little like garage band in high school, and 
Joel's band, Along Came a Spider, actually played the Incarceration Tour last year. Really? Yeah. That's badass. He's the he's the keyboard player for Along Came a Spider. I I've never heard of that band, but I'm gonna look them up now. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty good band. Stevie and Robert. Yep. Okay. I... No, we were talking. I was just I was letting you guys talk. <laughs> Didn't want to interrupt. Well, you, you know you what? Your job. Chattens? Your guys' job is to interrupt. <laughs> No, but yeah, that's something we need to look into for sure. Is like the intro and outro stuff. Definitely. Yeah, figure something out. So that way it's not just like us going right into it. Give a little bit of time to for people to, to tune in before we start talking. If we – I'm so disappointed because I know we can't pull off I Am A Real American. I was so down for that. I mean, that's that – <laughs> I mean, that's something – we can look into it. I mean, just to see. Uh, you're right? We can look into that. Like I said, I know how I just know how Facebook is with the whole copyright stuff. I don't know if you have right. to put like something on like the actual video saying, you know, this isn't my music or whatever. Just yeah, something not to even, down. It's not even copywritten by WWE. That song is actually by Rick Derringer. Mm hmm. But if you think about it, who's more American than us? <laughs> According to Ancestry.com, I'm mostly Scottish, but still. Hey, I'm, very, well. I'm very Polish American. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a sweaty American. I mean, that's right. right. <laughs> He's just got that sweat going. <laughs> I, I am an American of Polish, Irish, and German descent. Robert. <clears throat> Robert. Logan. Can we call you Glitters? Glitters? Yeah. He's no. the Glitters. <laughs> I mean, he's shiny. <laughs> But, all right, well, dangerous. I'm going to get off here. You guys can keep going if you want. I'm going to actually uh, fix up the uh, the picture and put his face on there, too. And then I, I'll send yeah, it to Yeah, I want to see that when it's done because I've, yeah. I've uh, gamed with Brian, but I've never, like, seen him in person. I don't even know what he looks like. So. Yeah, I'll send it I'll send it to you guys in the, the, big the chat. Logic. And, Robert, if you want to <laughs> add, you know, Brian to the chat, you can or I can. It doesn't matter. So that way he knows what's going on for, like, what we're going to be doing that day. Right. So but, all right, yep. If gonna, you, if you pull that. up the live right now, this is what I'm looking looking like looking at my computer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Copyright infringement. <laughs> That's Robert while he's on the podcast. Yep. <laughs> that same face too, that look of intensity. <laughs> And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys. Yep, I'm jumping off so that way I can get that fixed, and then I'll send it to you guys. Yep, right. I'm gonna jump off too. I'm gonna sign off of here. All yep. right, I guess. guess that's when's... the rest of us. This has been Steve Logan and Robert, and we are the Bearded Bros Podcast. Thanks for listening.